Raiders. Welcome back for my tip of the week. And my tip of the week is don't fall in love with the pads. It has its place in boxing. You can use it. It gives your coach a chance to see what you look like from your opponent's point of view. But that being said, the concept of boxing is hit him in the face and the body, not in the arms. They may block it, that's not good. The concept of pads is hit the arms, hit the hands, and not the coach's face or body. So you're training yourself to the exact opposite of what you're fighting, what you're training to accomplish. The heavy bag, running, jumping rope, sparring, and shadow boxing. These are the tools that Andrew Dundee used to make 15 world champions, including Muhammad Ali. So it's not that you shouldn't use them at all, and you'll see I hold them occasionally. It's very good for a coach to engage with a fighter and for a fighter to engage with a coach. But it becomes my imagination, my tempo, my speed, and my rhythm, which is not the same speed, tempo, rhythm of your opponent. You don't want to get used to my speed. If you can block, slip my jab, that's not really that big of an accomplishment. I'm a fifth-year-old man, and a lot of coaches are up there in age like myself. So you really have, it's inspiring when you slip the jab. It's in drills. The Cubans have taught us to do the school of combat, where you drill, drill, drill. The same in a lot of, of sports, it's drilling the same forehand, the same swing off a tee for a baseball player. Drilling the same thing is one thing. You repeat over and over with a lie, with an actual baseball or an actual face, not a hand. So my tip of the week is to not fall in love with the pants. Use your own imagination as the, as the artist in the ring, on the bag, in the shadow box. Create your own rhythm, your own speed that your opponents cannot figure out, cannot get used to. And don't take pride in the fact you can slip a coach's mitts, especially when you've memorized the combination. It's not a big accomplishment. So again, the tip of the week is don't fall in love with the pads. Use the other staples of boxing to really develop your skills.